in this video let us try to apply fm concept to find circumference of the circle we know circumference of the circle very well right p is equal to 2 pi r perimeter or circumference of the circle is 2 pi r so if we apply this fm concept to this well known problem you will now get exactly how fm process works so let us get into that let us take a circle okay and this circle is having some radius r right so if in order to apply this fem concept so we have four steps so let us see the first one which is known as discretization discretization is nothing but so we are dividing the entire domain so this is the domain we are calling um, i mean domain is nothing but that is what we need to find out circumference so that will be divided into parts so that will be divided into sub domains let me say so for example i have this circle okay i can divide it into n number of l sub domains okay for example i can divide this into three elements that means if i find out the length of each line then we can find out the perimeter of the circle or i can now divide it into four elements and four lines so that is number of elements is increasing so here this is n is equal to 3 n is equal to 3 here and this blue color so i have divided into 4 n is equal to 4 so further i can divide it into some more i can increase the number of elements so 5 5 lines n is equal to 5 so i can go on increasing the number up to infinity so discretization is nothing but increase in the number of elements for example let me consider uh, this is divided into some five parts so five sub domains so like this so if we divide it like this okay so these are called as elements so what we have divided so these lines are called as elements sub domains are called as elements and these elements will be intersecting at points which are called as nodes so these are nodes right so we need to uh, and this is the process of dividing into subdomains is all process of dividing elements is called as a discretization and entire this divided part is called as a mesh connection of all these elements which is known as the mesh so it is having some number of elements in okay let us uh, we have to find out the perimeter so first step is over simple so we have to discretize we have to divide into number of elements so let us uh, say i have divided into five elements so that is the first step so second step we have is to develop the equation develop equation for as you know fm is a numerical process we have to develop the numerical equations for this uh, yeah for this element so in order to find out element let us take one element let us isolate one element okay that means so if i take this circle i am taking only one element so what i have considered there and it is having radius r right and let me say the element is some omega e this is the omega e element this is theta e that is angle subtended by this element okay r is the radius you know so now uh, let us take this triangle outside so let us take this triangle outside okay and let us have a perpendicular dropped on it this is theta e okay this is a perpendicular drop and what will be uh, what will be this what will be this angle theta e by 2 and this is a perpendicular as i said and let this so we are calling h e is the length of the element so let me say this is the height i mean length of the element is some h e so when this total is h e what is half of that so when you add this perpendicular that is h e by 2 so we have this right angle triangle here 
so let us take that right angle triangle outside again so in order to make it much clearer i am going into the basics okay so this is theta e by 2 right this is the right angle okay this is opposite side so which is opposite to the angle so this another right angle will be adjacent side this is hypotenuse and we know this these are the values of hypotenuse which is the radius this is radius opposite side so we have this one that is he by 2 and this is of course r okay we need an opposite side now so when when we need to find out the opposite side what is the trigonometric function that works with opposite side so sine theta so let us take sine theta e by 2 sine theta e by 2 from this triangle will be opposite side by hypotenuse so what is opposite side here he e by 2 by hypotenuse is radius r that is sine theta e by 2 so that is nothing but i will write as he by 2r so now we need to find out the element length right we need to find out the element length he is equal to 2r sin theta e by 2 that's it so that is with the second step we have developed an equation for the element so we need so here the property of the element we need to find out is the length so right so we are finding out the element length so that is what needed that we have found so first step is the discretization dividing it into elements second one is to develop the equation for single element third one is to assemble the equations so third step is to assemble the equations so let me say the pn is a approximate perimeter by fvm pn is a approximate perimeter perimeter found by fvm not exact so we have p as the exact one p actual so which is 2 pi r so let us consider what is pn so pn is nothing but so what we have done here uh, so here we have found out the length of this element so if you add sum of all elements then you will get the perimeter how that is nothing but if you multi multiply with the number of elements with the one equation you will get it perimeter so that is nothing but here let me say some sigma n is equal to 1 to sorry sigma e is equal to 1 to n he so sum of all the element lengths will be the total perimeter now for example let us consider this is a uniform mesh uniform mesh that is nothing but all elements are having same length so when the elements are on uh, where uh, elements are not having same length so that is called as non-uniform mesh non-uniform mesh not same okay let us consider this as a uniform mesh so what will we get now so if we take it as a uniform mesh it is very simple it will become so pn will be multiplied by so if we just multiply with the number of elements into he so because if we multiply with the number of elements into same length uh, of all elements so we will get the total perimeter right so we are not mentioning what is n here uh, let us take what is the equation of he we got n into he i will substitute 2r sin theta e by 2 okay and that is the value of this perimeter total perimeter and we have to check so we have developed this equation and one more thing i have to mention here when theta e, theta e also will become theta e is a element angle subtended by this element when all elements are having same length so that will become 2 pi by n entire circle angle divided by the number of elements so 2 pi is nothing but angle of the circle pi is 180 2 pi is 360 degrees so that multiply uh, that is divided by n that will give you um, the element length so what will happen now uh, let us substitute it here pn is equal to n into 2r sin in place of theta i will substitute 2 pi by n by 2 okay so that will become n into 2r sin 2 pi by 2 n 2 2 cancelled so it will become 2 r n 
sine pi by n so that is the value of p so let me write it again so p value we have it as 2 r n sine pi by n now the fourth step is to so first uh, we have to see three steps right one is to discretize the domain second one is to develop the equation for one element third one is assembling of all the elements element equations and last step is to check the convergence check the error so we have to check the error now step four error and convergence convergence is nothing but how much the approximate value is converging to actual solution that is 2 pi r so we shall check it now so we have we know what is uh, so okay let us see error is nothing but sectoral length minus element length so see here this is very interesting now so if we take this take this circle okay and we have this element he okay this is the length of the element he and here this sectoral length is element uh, this arc length yes so if you could find out the gap between these two so this gap is there right so that is the error this gap is there so what is sc we have you know so a sectoral length is nothing but so if we, it is having radius and theta e so error of one element we are considering so what will happen see a sectoral length here will be r into theta e okay let us see that now so here sectoral length as so let me use this color itself so mod is nothing but in any case the value is positive so we are just finding out its magnitude how much is the error r into theta e and we have this he as 2 r So we have this HS 2 or sin theta e. Sin theta e by n or sin pi by n. So as we have converted. In the place of theta e, I will substitute as mentioned in the previous. So here I will do this. 2 pi by n. I will substitute this. R into 2 pi by n is equal to 2 r sin pi by n. Minus this. Sorry. Okay. This is uh, error of one element so if uh, in order to find out the total error so what we need to do e n a total error so let me say this is capital e just capital e that is nothing but if it is very simple you have to multiply with n 2 pi r by n minus 2 r sin pi by n so what will we get what will we get now n n will be cancelled and this n will be here okay 2 pi r minus 2 n r sin pi by n okay so that is the error error formula that is so let us check the convergence now how much the value is converging to actual solution so we have to prove that if the number of elements are in infinity if you divide the circle into number of elements if the number of elements are increasing the error goes on decreasing the gap goes on decreasing and becomes zero so let us prove that so if number of elements are infinite infinity so let take another one let, let us take the value of x as 1 by n okay so when n tends to infinity x tends to 0 because 1 by infinity that is 0 so if you take this p if you take this p what will you get what uh, pn so pn we have 2r sin pi by x so that is the value of pn right so here 2rn sin pi by n sorry 2rn pi sin pi by n So we are just substituting the value of pn here and let us substitute the value of x here so pn is equal to 
to r into in place of n i'll substitute one um, yeah n will become now 1 by x so from this equation if x is equal to 1 by n n will be become becoming 1 by x so 2r into 1 by x sin pi by 1 by x so what will we get now 2r by x okay 2r sin pi x by x so pi into x it will become pn right so let us apply the limits so let us uh, uh, take the limits so limit n tends to infinity pn then what will happen to x as we have discussed 1 by n is nothing but 1 by infinity will be 0 then here limit x tends to 0 to r sin pi x by x okay now let us take this um, so if you derive this you will get it as 2r cos 2r is a constant sin pi x derivative is cos pi x by 1 and here pi x uh, derivative is pi so that is nothing but 2 pi r cos pi x so if you apply the limit if you apply the limit what will what will happen to this 2 pi r in the place of uh, x I will substitute 0 cos pi into 0 that is 0 cos 0 is 1 that become 2 pi r so pn is equal to 2 pi r which is the actual perimeter p that is converging to p then what happens to this error here error we have this e is equal to 2 pi r minus 2 r n sin pi by n okay so entire this value that is nothing but pn so when pn is becoming 2 pi r error will become 0 so the final conclusion what i want to say is as you increase the number of elements as you increase the number of elements the accuracy will be more so that will be converging to exact solution so that is converging is nothing but that is towards this actual solution so let me say this so i have shown you an example right so when we have this so divide it into a triangle so you, you can see uh, what what is the gap between this curve and this line so error is more and if you divide it into four parts four elements so this gap is little decreasing right and if you take this five elements so uh, that in that manner if you increase the number of elements the gap the error goes on decreasing and for infinite elements the error becomes zero as you increase the number of elements accuracy increases approximation improves and it converges to actual solution so that is all about this uh, application of fem concept to this uh, finding out circumference of the circle thanks i will try to share the document in our um, i mean in description you can download Thank you. Thanks for your time.